For 25 years, the Sioux Falls School District has been honoring the best teachers in the city. Teachers whose hard work, dedication, and devotion to students earned them the title Teacher of the Year. Several of these winners have gone on to become South Dakota Teachers of the Year. Over those 25 years, many aspects of the celebration have changed, including the addition of a dedication, honoring a man who spent nearly 25 years dedicated to students as superintendent in Sioux Falls, Dr. John W. Harris. One thing has not changed over those two and a half decades. That entire time, Vern Eide Motor Cars has been right there, generously recognizing the best of the best, and even more importantly, helping us celebrate the profession of teaching by recognizing and rewarding excellence in this noble enterprise. Let's meet a few of these incredible teachers as we take a look back in time. I suppose the kids would say once in a while I'm a little off the wall, uh, but um, I use, try to use a lot of variety in my classroom, a lot of different things going on. Uh, everybody learns in a little bit different way, so I try to use uh, as much variety as I can along with you know, the standard procedures that we've all learned in biology and so forth with the microscope work and so forth. But I think variety is probably a thing. And humor, you have to have a little humor going along with it. I really love working with kids. Um, I knew when I started college that that's what I wanted to do and I just worked for that and I haven't regretted it. My number one goal is for them to believe in themselves, believe they can do it. That's, that is so important, I think, for fifth graders, well for all children I guess. If they believe in themselves anything's going to be possible. You have to be enthusiastic. You have to like what you're doing. If you don't, uh, the kids pick up on that in a hurry. In fact, last week I had a, a girl ask me in my anatomy class, she said, how can you be so enthusiastic all the time? I said, you know, I love what I'm doing. And I've used the example, some people go, uh, go fishing for fun, I teach. I enjoy every day that I get up, that I come to school, because it's, a, it's, it's kind of a new experience. I think the youngsters, uh, they think you're special. They think, uh, uh, you know, you, you don't have a life outside of the school, and uh, you're there for them, and I, I believe I am. They, they brighten my day every day with, like I say, with a hug or a smile or a high five or, or, or comment, a little story they tell me, and it just makes my day. I think we really need to teach children to respect and care for one another, to um, think about each person as a, as a human being and uh, to respect um, our world so that it's a, a better and safer place um, for the next generation. The thing that our students need more than a, a book education is a an education on relationships and, and uh, how to develop relationships and, and knowing that they're trusted by someone and knowing that I uh, not only trust them but, but uh, they can trust me. And I think, um, I think the relationship building that I really work hard at with my students really pays off, not, not only in, in a personal way with my kids but also academically. I think with the relationships I develop they're uh, much more eager and willing to um, go the distance for me if I show them I'm willing to go the distance for them. I care deeply about the kids and they know it, but I'm not their best friend. I'm their teacher and so there has to be that difference, that attitude of respect. And then I think I have to live my life in a way, and I would advise a teacher to, in a way that is worthy of the respect that you want to have for your kids and for the parents. You need to be who you say you are. I try to come up with new strategies. Um, if someone isn't getting something, I change my approach. Um, we know that with 23 students, you have 23 different learning styles or the way they see things. And so it's just a challenge and it's fun to come up with something that makes sense for each one of those so that they can come away with the knowledge they need to get out of second grade. Just the thought that I'm, that I'm hopefully able to have a positive impact on you know, 170 students every single day of the school year. Uh, you know, I hope that uh, in my actions and the things that I say and the example that I, that I live, I hope that uh, they learn more than just biology, the study of life. I hope they learn a little bit about life. 
as teachers, we're learners along these, alongside them, and we're really trying to create an environment which stimulates that learning. They just don't come and run around and play games and <clears throat> those kinds of things, but it's really important to look at the ordinary moments those children have and to make them extraordinary. That is always the beauty of teaching is that I remember Susan Greeno said, you know, every year I learn and I don't do it the same way every year, you know, uh, because I want to be engaged. And then, you know, our school is really good about on-service training and, and so now we're talking about how do you individuate for kids that, you know, one particular book isn't right for every kid. It's a matter of joy of learning and I think the kids um, um, love science because it is that discovery every single day and I want them to succeed so I make it fun for them and we do a lot of hands-on activities. Sometimes you just need to look at things in a lighter way. Um, so when they come into my room they know that it's, it, it's a lot of material and it's not an easy class, any of my classes, but they do have fun and I think they see my passion for what I teach and, and that I thoroughly love what I'm doing and that's what I try to teach them. You know it doesn't matter what you become but you have to love what you're doing or it's a job. My main philosophy of teaching has been to believe in every child that they can do it. And I think that that philosophy has been what has motivated me to want to be a better teacher, to motivate my students to want to learn and to be the best that they can be. I think sometimes we hear this a lot that teachers believe that all students can learn, but I, I really do think that math is attainable for all students. And what we just need to realize as teachers is that maybe it's not at the same time, maybe it's not at the same pace, or maybe it's not in the same way that we might have learned or that is kind of a common, common practice. But um, every day it's fun because the challenge is different. Every day it's something new. Um, they're excited to learn. Um, you know, I always tell the kids that they're my family, um, not only just this year, but forever. And what I want them to learn when they leave here is that they're worth something, they're unique, and I want them to be to know that it's okay to be different and then you know to set goals to um, set high expectations work hard and that they can be whatever they want to be you know don't let things or people stand in your way the students keep me teaching uh, I love the students I love the schedule I love seeing students learn I love seeing them accomplish things and coming back and tell me how it has made a difference in their life so the teaching, I've stayed in teaching simply because I enjoy the students. I also enjoy the people I work with. They are affirmative, they're collaborative, they bring the best out of me. And how can you not enjoy when somebody wants the best for you?